Hello and welcome back to Crystal Craft. Today's plan, well, we're going to spend today at our base. We're going to be making a coral reef. I went to, whoops, I went to a coral reef and I have collected fish, loads of fish, and various different corals. And obviously sea pickles and even more fish. Um, and I'm going to be putting them all down here. So I'm going to decorate this as if it's going to be a coral reef. I have put loads of sand around. So I've sanded it all up. And yeah, that's my plan anyway. I also plan, because I'm going to be putting tropical fish in here, I don't want them just to swim off into the regular ocean. I don't know if that's your will or not, but no. I'm going to be putting a wall under the water. Probably not quite here, probably more in line with here. And then I'll probably move the, the uh, bridge as well. That's the plan anyway. So, I'm going to... If I get the right chest, use this one. I've got about a stack or thereabouts of each of the different corals. Oh, a bit over a stack. And obviously all the random little ones. So I'm going to put all these down. I don't know how many I'm actually going to need. But I might even not I might even not need the amount I've got. But we shall see. I've never actually tried to make coral before. Right, make sure I've got a silk touch, yeah. So it's going to look kind of like the vanilla ones look. That's what I'm actually aiming for. And then maybe, oh, not that one, not that one. I would of course smooth the glowstone so just so I can see what's going on until, until I'm ready. Something like that. I have to keep an eye on my bubbles. I don't have a conduit as yet. So I will drown if I stay down too long. So yeah, I'm going to build it up all the way around here and over there a little bit. Maybe up the sides of it. And yeah, we'll see what's going to happen then. Ooh, I'll come up for a moment. So yeah gonna build it all up underneath and we'll see how it goes all right back with you soon shapes going on. I figure it just to make it look more interesting. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I might add more to it as time goes on, I'm not really sure. 
It's obviously not finished yet because I don't have any of the other parts of the coral pieces in, like the fans and stuff. That'd be my next thing. How many wrong boxes can I get? Obviously, so bubble coral, horn, tube. They're both pink. Fire. I'll chuck a few of these around. So, I am really happy with how it looks. It's very colourful, which is very cool. And it's quite light as well with all the seagulls. So, I need to put a wall in here, which I'm going to do in a moment. And then I have tropical fish to add. So, I will bring you back when I've done the wall and uh, ready to do the fish. Right, see you soon. Okay, so I think I've pretty much finished. I can see I've added fish. Quite a few fish floating around. I've added a bit of greenery around the edges. Just by using bone meal and breaking off the excess. Don't want to bury it in greenery. Just adds a bit of contrast to all the colours. Load stone. Remove you while I'm here. Okay. Shouldn't need any glow stone in here now because because the sea pickles should light it up well enough. This is how I've added quite a few different fish in here. I've also done a wall, which is here. So you can see I put a few of the coral bits on the wall as well. Fairly simple, just brick with a stripped oak logs. I haven't done anything to the other side except for putting the textures in of the different bricks. I think that's fine. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I do have a few last fish I want to add, they are. So, I did get randomly poisoned by one of these earlier. They're very cute, but far, work, far more dangerous than other fish. Just stop them about. So, yeah, isn't that nice? I've really enjoyed making this. It's not something I've... I've ever done before this sort of trying to do sort of a natural look. I don't know how natural they actually look though I have to admit. But it's Minecraft, it's all not, not really gonna look natural anyway. Yeah, 
I very much enjoyed doing this. Good fun. Don't think I've got any fish left in either. I've got a few puffer fish and a bit more coral still, and that's it. There we go then. Oh, I took the the uh, the rail line down for the moment. Just so we can see it how it's how it how it looks now. I want to have a different way of getting into a little bit of our base. Well, out of it anyway. So I put the blocks there. To actually use the doors for now. I've left the rail in here just so um when I need to move more villagers down it's not too difficult to do it. But usually I come charging out of there, I run down and across. But now well, I still do it but not quite as easily. Okay, so the last thing I'd like to make today will be a bee farm. I have been into the flower forest, which is over there, and I have found some beehives. Um, a couple of them have bees in, but I'm not actually sure which ones. Um, and I plan to put it here. It's not going to be an automatic one, it is going to be decorative. So I plan to put a tree in the middle, and there's going to be glass around the outside. I don't know if I have enough glass actually, I might have to go and get some more. But yeah, that's the plan. I will bring you back when I have done some more of it. Right. Okay, so a quick, easy little, oops, must walked off the edge. A quick, easy little bee place. So there are four bees in here. Actually, in the most of them in the nest at the moment. I put a couple of campfires underneath so I can collect honey out of them. And we just light the fires. And that shouldn't annoy the bees. There we go. Be our guest. You can either leave the campfires running or what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put them out. I don't think it makes much difference, but I think it looks nicer with them out. So there we go. 
quite an easy little build. It's obviously not meant to produce tons of honey. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that really. Hmm. Okay, so if you've enjoyed this episode, please leave me a like. And while you're down there, please subscribe for more. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.